mighty. Not because you want to, but you have to. Be bold and no time to be bashful. Grab life by the horns like a natural. Be sharp, be quick, and be agile. Never ever let a competitor catch you. Stay ahead of whatever is trying to pass you. Though it's not a race, sometimes that's how you gotta operate. Hello everyone. Sam O'Ray, aka Dr. Sam here. Welcome to the morning boot up. Episode where I just sit down uh, and talk about whatever topics on my mind at the moment. Very unscripted, unfiltered, just, you know, me talking about whatever I feel like for a little bit. Sort of a ramble, not often a rant, but the current topic, this is sort of a part three of an arc. It started with my upload on who I am, you know, what I'm about give some insight into my background a little bit and and why I am the way I am being someone who's uh, naturally inclined towards speech and behavior that just fits the you know clean safer work or family family friendly all ages however you want to call it uh, that sort of brand uh, due to not using profanity or innuendo in my day-to-day -day speech so by being genuinely me, you know, just true to myself, I am going to be naturally on the cleaner end of content creation. And then the second part is talking about how oddly poorly treated clean content creators are, especially smaller, you know, startup content creators, you know, in my kind of portion of the content creation space, you know, small enough that we don't necessarily get much visibility or you know sponsorship opportunities or anything that can really jumpstart you know explosive growth that you more often see in the less than safer work regions of the content creation space but that's kind of besides the point we just aren't don't often get opportunities for you know rapid growth which has its own pros and cons, you know, there's there's pros and cons on both sides. But on top of not getting as men, much growth opportunity, uh, clean content creators are also kind of disparaged a bit, uh, treated as almost inherently juvenile. Or like if you're family friendly, yeah, your content is childish, it's aimed at children, you know, it's and then that's also treated as suspicious and just from so many angles or or you have like people who come into your content and try to either force you or trick you or in uh whatever ways kind of influence you to do things that are outside of that clean uh, brand umbrella and just in general just on so many fronts cleaner you know family friendly all ages however you want to say it content creators are either treated with disrespect, treated poorly, treated as suspicious with no actual like supporting information to to make such a conclusion reasonably, you know, logical um or you know, just in general treated as boring or not worth watching or supporting just on so many fronts, treated poorly in general. Um that's the the very short summary of those two videos but i will definitely link to them in the description show notes and the uh, uh annotation cards on youtube that way you can go watch those and get the full impression of of what i had to say on those topics so this is kind of the final chapter the follow-up um on what i learned from you know, conversations surrounding those things um, and kind of the new clarity on my my mission statement, so to speak, my goals in my content creation, what I aim for, you know, and and the new convictions that I have after talking to such people on the Internet um, who have such, you know, varied but generally negative viewpoints on clean content creation. And how that kind of actually, interestingly enough, and that's just a testament to how I was raised to think about these kind of things, 
and I guess a little bit my just natural inclinations, but this, these negative interactions surrounding that have actually strengthened my resolve and my convictions to stay the course and to be true to myself instead of uh, buckling, you know, folding or bending the knee to, and doing what's what trends more. Um, so essentially, it's like the way I'm thinking about it is that when you I, I see going with the flow because it's, you know, the precedent shows that it's more profitable. It's more, it's definitely more of a profit oriented and in other ways, kind of a weak mindset, you know, just follow the crowd because it's what everyone else is doing or it's what's shown to be more popular. That's never been me. You know, I was always, I was raised in a family culture of being the best individual, you know, individualism in a positive way be the best individual you can be, be the best version of yourself that you want to be. You know, don't let the people around you or your environment dictate who you are. Decide who you want to be for yourself and be that, you know, work towards it, have the conviction to stick with it. And of course, do your best to have a positive impact on the lives you touch, you know, the people that you are close to or the people who even you're not necessarily close to, but you are just placed in positions to have an impact on them. You know, it's better to have a positive impact on others than a negative one. And not to restrict yourself based on surface level things, you know, like appearance, nationality, uh, and, you know, in some cases, age. You know, like growing up, I mean, my you know, friends and family friends always had varying ages. You know, close family friends, there was ones who were, you know, no, in my parents' age bracket, right? But we were always close to them. Uh, you can be close to family members who are much older than you. You know, obviously protect yourself because even blood relatives aren't always trustworthy. And my family knows that very well. I'm not going to go into details on that. But, you know, there's no reason why an adult should instantly be treated as suspicious just because they don't wall out people younger than them, you know? And while my content is naturally clean because of my lack of defaulting to profanities and innuendos in my daily speech, let alone my content, since I'm going to be genuinely me in my content, I'm not going to change who I am for the sake of, you know, profit and growth. I do this out of out of a passion for doing it. You know, it's it's a hobby. It's it's something that I enjoy doing. It's a creative outlet. It's just a way to express myself. It's not something I'm relying on for income. I have a day job for that. And that's why I don't put as much time into content creation as I would like to, because as an adult, I do have to prioritize being able to pay the bills. But I I don't aim my content towards minors, you know? towards the younger audience. I don't specifically target them, but I don't wall them out. And since my speech and behavior is naturally safe for younger viewers, I figure why not allow them to enjoy it, you know? There's no reason I should tell them get lost. I'm not doing or saying anything that that should give me a reason to say that, right? So why wall out that potential audience? But at the same time, I don't behave in juvenile ways and I don't focus on that younger, more juvenile audience. And in my experience, some of the more younger viewers that I've had in my streams, for example, you know, real time live streams, with a lot of interaction with, with the viewers in chat. It seems like the, the traits that I have, you know, that are portrayed through my being genuine and my uh, combined with my rules and the things I do and don't allow has brought out maturity from even the younger viewers, which, you know, is great in my opinion. You know, if, if it's showed me that I have the potential to be a good role model to these younger viewers just by being me. And, you know, as I said in one of the previous videos, there's a phrase that resonate with me and it's be the person you needed when you were younger. So I figure why not try to be that role model that even younger viewers can relate to you know, that they can look up to. 
more of that is needed in the content creation space, and especially in the VTuber space where the majority of content creators um, push away, you know, wall out younger viewers by, you know, slapping 18 plus labels and being very, very, you know, vulgar and profane and such and sexualized. So why not be someone who, since I am inherently different from the majority in content creation, why not lean into that, right? Like, I'm not exploiting young ones by trying to get money from them or something. They don't have disposable income, so I'm not going to be doing that. You know, that's going to come from older viewers. But why not allow them to feel welcome and have fun and be involved, right? And then I encourage maturity from them. And that's what I've gotten so far. You know, I've seen some of the younger viewers actually in my streams improve in maturity over their time spent with with me because I I know how to put you know say when enough is enough you know what I mean like if one's going going on with a joke or whatever and they're going and going and going and it's enough I'll say hey okay you know that's enough for that let's move on I I don't encourage juvenile behavior I tolerate it for as much as it's not going to be annoying for all the people around them you know but I've seen them improve I've seen them learn things and gain more of those that that um, understanding of social cues or, or when enough is enough in certain things. And that's great. You know, they need that. You know, it's yes, while it's up to we're not it's not upon us to babysit younger viewers and it, it should be on the parents to teach them these things. It takes a village to raise a child, right? That's a phrase and it has truth to it. It's more than just the parents who have influence on uh, younger ones who are in their formative years. It's upon it's upon their environment too. And to an extent, it's upon society. Like a, a newborn child is completely innocent and they stay innocent as they grow until society around them is what corrupts them or bad parents or family members. That's what corrupts children and brings out the worst in them. It's not inherent. They're innocent. They start off with no, you know, preconceived notions or or anything of the sort or, you know, natural proclivities towards toxic behaviors. That's given to them. That's instilled into them by the people around them. So they also need a, you know, as close to an even amount of counter um, influence to the bad that's around them every day. You know, and if I'm naturally qualified to that because of who I am, who I was raised to be, and who I choose to be, so be it. Why wall out the younger viewers? But at the same time, I don't specifically target them. You know, I, someone tried to point out that the majority of the games that I play or the content on my YouTube are aimed towards kids, but that's not necessarily true. I play what I want to play. For example, there's a lot of Sonic Frontiers, right? My entire playthrough is going up uh, almost daily. That's because I grew up on the Sonic franchise from the time I was a child. My father introduced me to the Sonic franchise. He was already an adult when I was born. You know what I mean? He was the one playing him, and I watched him play, and then I started playing with him. He was an adult who liked Sonic the Hedgehog 2 back on the Sega Genesis. It's not, it's not something weird for an adult to play a game that's like E-rated or T-rated, right? E for everyone means everyone all ages means all ages not just children both of those inherently mean young and old or young to old you know everything in between there's nothing that says that adults can't enjoy games like pokemon or sonic the hedgehog in fact i would say half to the majority of those two franchises main audiences are adults people who grew up with those franchises and never really stopped playing them or maybe took a break and then started playing them again once they got old and mature enough to not care about what the people around them think you know a lot of people went through this process of like in their teenage years they start thinking they're too cool or too mature for these things they enjoyed as a kid but then when they're truly mature they realize it doesn't matter what the people around me think i'm going to enjoy what i want to enjoy that's a sign of true maturity you know, even if the people around me think that this thing that I enjoy is childish or juvenile, I don't care. I'm going to enjoy it because I enjoy it. That's actual maturity. Not that whole, oh, that's for kids. That's actually the truly childish mentality. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay? And I'm just going to say it like it is. Like I said, unfiltered, right? But 
that's that's just how it is you know that's how it should be maturity is being yourself regardless of, of any what any detractors say right when anyone around you is going to try to force you to think no i'm not going to let anyone force me into their mold i'm going to enjoy the games i enjoy and on my youtube and twitch i'm going to share that with other people who also enjoy those and with some of those games it's going to be young and old like sonic and pokemon unite you know I don't really play the mainline Pokemon games much. It's mostly Pokemon Unite, which in and of itself is a MOBA, which leans a little more in gameplay towards all older audiences who are capable of understanding the nuances and, and depth of it, you know, and the strategies and whatnot. But, you know, other games I play, Monster Hunter. It's a T-rated game, so teens and up. Teens and adults. Um, I have a little bit of content from Sifu, which is a, an M-rated game, mature rated. Although I did edit the dialogue because they do throw out so many uh, F-bombs in that. So I edited that out in the audio to keep it a little more in, in line with the rest of my content. You know, consistency is king when it comes to building your brand. So I, yeah, I did that in the two videos, but that was just me hanging out with my brother, my best friend playing this game, you know? And we're all adults, the three of us, we're all adults. So it was a good time, you know, it was just that chill, chilling out with the dudes, you know, and we're just joking around, having a lot of banter and, and so on. And it was just a good time. So I just wanted to share that. Um, I'm going to start playing Warframe, which is an M-rated game, but you can toggle off the, uh, the gore elements of the gameplay, turning it into more of a T-rated game anyway. Um, so that still will be in line with my branding, but not necessarily aimed towards kids. Same with Sifu, you know? Uh, what else have I made content for on my channel? Um, I have a couple of Windjammers 2 videos. That's, I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be E10 rated because it's, you know, it's kind of a simple, it's not really a graphic and doesn't have a graphic game and doesn't have profanity in it, but it's, it's more of like a sports-esque game. But, you know, it's a competitive game and children will struggle in a game like that. It's more aimed towards teens and, and older in its mechanics and stuff. Um, I have a lot of Armored Core that I'm that I'm uploading and, and playing on stream in hype for, you know, the, the lead up to Armored Core 6. And that's always been a specifically T-rated game with a lot of deep, you know, themes and, and, and subject matter that's not necessarily vulgar, but it is more stuff that would go over children's head. But at the same time, it's it's a robot combat game. So maybe some younger viewers will enjoy that kind of thing because I know I loved robots when I was a kid and I never really grew out of it it just kind of morphed into different forms you know grew up on like the Beast Wars Transformers and then watched the Unicron trilogy of Transformers with my brother and then you know the the Michael Bay Transformers movies and live action ones with the special effects and you know mecha anime like Gundam and Armored Core here and it's you know it's stuff that isn't inherently juvenile but you can enjoy in different ways from whether you're a child or an adult or a teenager that's that's the appeal of all ages content is that there's something for everyone not specifically aimed at children and and i will you know i will just drill that point in to people's heads because they the misconception of family friendly or all ages meaning aimed at children is just com it's objectively incorrect it's a wrong take, you know? Yeah, pe people have a right to their opinion, but in this case, that opinion is just factually wrong, you know? And, and objective truth does exist in this world. It's based on the reality that we can observe, you know? And the, the reality of all ages or family friendly is that it has something for all, young to old. That's just, that's just the reality of it. And that's what my content is. I don't aim for children. Heck, on YouTube, according to my analytics, the majority of my audience is ages 25 to 44. A distinctly mature adult audience. You know, not even young adults like 18 to 24, where you're still maturing, even though you're legally an adult. No, 25, which is like past the bloom of youth, you know, past when you're just becoming an adult, to 44, middle age. My content isn't geared towards children. I am inclusive of them because there's nothing in my content. Since I'm consistent in my branding, there's nothing in my content that can, that is 
stuff that children, you know, or younger viewers shouldn't see, and that parents should be hesitant to let their kids see. Just none of that in my content, really. But so why not? Why push them out, right? Why alienate that audience? But I'm not gunning for that audience specifically. I'm just being myself and I'm appealing to whoever likes my stuff. And as it turns out, the majority are adults. So all ages just fits my brand. And that's just what my brand has become by being genuinely myself, you know, just being genuinely me, true to myself and not altering who I am to cater to people who won't like who I inherently am. And I think that's how it should be, you know, be who you are, be who you want to be and don't care about the people who don't like you, you know, uh, who cares about the people who who want who would want try to tell you to be different than who you actually are. Those are the kind of people who should not matter in your mind, period. And so I don't care about those people, you know, anyone who wants to say that I'm suspicious or whatever, because they they're going off of misconceptions and factually wrong, you know, thought processes. Well, they they don't matter. You know, they can th they can think whatever they want, but that's not going to define reality. It's not going to determine what actual fact is, period. That's just how it is. And, you know, who who cares about if what I am, who I am, I should say, and what I do isn't necessarily what's most popular in my field. I'm OK being different. I've always been OK being different because I've always been different. My family has always been different from the people around us, and that's been our culture. That's been our values is to push yourself as an individual to be as good of a person as you can be, to be as positive of an influence on others as you can be. And you know what? If some people don't like me because I'm different, so be it. So be it. You know, and, and I'm, a cool, I'm cool with that. And honestly, that's that's what true maturity is. You know, only a, a, a child or an immature individual is going to care so much about what everyone around them thinks of them that they're going to alter and change themselves, change things about themselves to pander to those people. That's not me. That's never been me. So that's going to feed into my content. That's going to influence what kind of content I make. You know, and what kind of games I play. I'm going to play what I enjoy. And the people who also enjoy those, you know, young and old, are welcome to come to my streams and enjoy them with me. Simple as that. You know, the majority of people that I interact with, though, on the regular are more around my age range. You know, I would say in the 20s to, to early 30s. As it should be, you know, I'm not going out there looking for, for minors to interact with. I'm just allowing them to enjoy my content, which is not an evil thing in the slightest. And, you know, if I'm naturally, uh, if I'm naturally qualified to be more of a positive role model for the younger audience that is often alienated by a lot of content creators, then I will accept that, you know, I'm, I'm okay doing what others won't. I, I know I'm able to do so without feeling uncomfortable or 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 whatnot because as I've said in my experiences thus far my content seems to bring out the maturity of those younger viewers and they seem to get along just fine with the older viewers in my audience so why not lean into that that's one of the things that makes me unique in the content creation sphere so lean into it you know you have to have something that sets you apart right and so what sets me apart is my ability to be naturally all ages while also avoiding a lot of the juvenile aspects of the younger audiences, since I don't cater specifically to the young audience. That's a wide audience range that I reach that you don't see very often. That's one of the things that's unique about me in content creation. And, you know, maybe someday if I can get some some grow enough to get some sponsor backing or something like that or hired by a company like a parent company, then uh, I think with more eyes, you know, more reach, I could offer that unique uh, feel and community vibe even more to an even greater extent. We'll see if that happens. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep at what I'm doing just for the love of what I'm doing. 
and you know we'll see what happens of what comes of it what becomes of it um that's pretty much my my mission statement you know be me be different that's okay i'm not trying to be different i'm just being myself and if that makes me different then i'm cool with it and be offer things that others don't offer an all ages environment that is welcoming to people both young and old doesn't specifically aim for either of those i'm just being myself and you know share my love of games as a social engine as a way of connecting people and just as a great entertainment medium and people who are of like mind and similar interests will gradually find me that's pretty much it you know be a good role model to the younger ones um be uh someone that older ones can also relate to and enjoy talking to i've been told by uh, several adults other adults that i've spoken to that they enjoy conversation with me um because of my conversationalist skills and traits so lean into that with my podcast and such i'm going to try and uh, rebooting, well, not rebooting, but continuing my podcast proper and having some guest speak, you know, guest members on to talk about different gaming related topics and, uh, you know, see where I can uh, keep doing that kind of stuff. Maybe have um, more collabs this year if I can either get my job scheduling to be more consistent so I can plan stuff ahead of time with people or find a job that has more consistent scheduling so that I will have the freedom to schedule that stuff uh, on my off days uh, with people whose schedules also line up with that so that's something else i'd like to do this year and obviously the majority of people i'm going to collab with are going to be adults because the majority of content creators who are established are adults right so you know i've been doing this for more than a year and i'm going to keep doing it for the foreseeable future as long as i can fit it into my schedule uh, and you know to an extent that is financially justifiable uh, with time because you gotta pay bills right that's adulting you gotta pay the bills so yeah you know if if you are an adult view viewer and listener who would like to support me in this maybe help me to be able to financially afford making a bit more content and working a bit less uh, at my day job so that i can still do that then i have a was it a ko-fi i have a ko-fi page now where you can donate um i have also i offer commissions on there for like small uh, voice acting or narration type stuff so that you can check that out as well i'm trying to expand what i can do you know leverage my skill set my voice my speaking ability reading ability and stuff like that and yeah just be me you know and being myself means that i'm going to be family friendly or have content that's good for all ages even if some people want to uh, actually incorrectly label that as aimed towards kids they clearly are just showing they don't know what they're talking about and that that opinion is you know that conclusion is invalid because it's not based on actual objective fact and and reality so you know say what you want think what you want doesn't make it true or real that's just how it is and I will always stand by that. However, I am making improvements to my PR state, not statements, but my, my PR sensibilities, you know, the public relations, how I say my thoughts. Though I will always have that element of not caring so much about whether other people like me and more focusing on putting my limited time and energy into the people who I do genuinely get along with, you know, and that's that's because I'm comfortable with who I am. I know who I am, I know who I wanna be, and that's all I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna change myself for anyone. So those who hate me for who I am, that's fine. They can move on with their, their day and just, you know, I'll hit that mute or that block and not give them a second thought afterwards. Like legit, they just are not a factor in my mind anymore after that. So this is me just, I wanted to, address some of that that stuff that i've noticed after becoming a content creator and make apparent the mission statement of my goals what i aim to do what i 
going to continue doing and what I hope I can do to a greater extent in the future. So that's me. That's who I am. That's what I'm about. And if you enjoy that kind of stuff, please follow or subscribe to my channel so you can uh, enjoy more of that or give your your input because I definitely appreciate every bit of feedback and input. Even if you disagree with, with what I said in, in a future upload or whatever, leave the comment or leave the, the message with your thoughts. You know, even if they contradict, just be civil about it. Um, you know, be mature about it. I, I enjoy having discussion with people who are able to be respectful and respectable in the way they do so. You know, I, I, I'm not a, this isn't an, an echo chamber. I, I don't like echo chambers. You know, so if, if you enjoy my content, you have no obligation to agree with me. You know, let's have discussion. Let's just be mature about it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say this time. Um, that's going to wrap up that like three part arc, you could say. I'll leave links to the previous two parts to give more background insight into uh, this video. Subscribe, follow, like, all that good stuff. Dislike if you disagree with some of the stuff, but you know where my, what my stance is and, and my goal. And yeah, I hope to uh, see you in future uploads and, and future content that I do, because I'm trying to do a good little variety that's within my means and my ability and just kind of continue experimenting and finding my flow. And I think I've found at least one thing in these uh, morning boot up that is very suited to what I can do. Uh, what I can do well, that is. So, all right, I'm gonna go on with my day. I actually have work a bit later. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night wherever you are in the world listening to this or whatever time you're listening to this, you have a great one. Later.